Hurricane Larry, it's been in the Atlantic Ocean producing waves, wind and rain, but now as it moves north, it's likely to produce several feet of snow. I want to show you what I'm talking about. This system is pretty crazy. Here are the latest maps. As of Friday night, it's still Category 1 storm off the east coast of Canada coming into uh, just east of Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland, and headed north and east. But this thing stayed away from the United States. But it's been a hurricane and at least tropical storm for quite some time. Several days ago, it formed just off the western coast of Africa. You can see that white line. That shows you the track that the storm has taken ever since it was organized enough to actually track it. But it moved west towards North America, South America. Once it got closer towards the islands, it started to take a right hand turn towards the north. Good thing, too, it had it made really big impacts for the east coast, other than some dangerous rip currents at times, but no rain. Here's Bermuda. They got some rain and some wind and wave activity out of that. But the latest on this storm, still a category one as of Friday night with winds at 80 miles per hour sustained, gusts at 100. It's slowly weakening over time as it gets away from warmer water. Hurricanes need very warm water. But this system is about to go through a process called extratropical transition, where it goes from something that's tropical and warm core over to something that's more of a cyclone, like a low pressure system but it has a cold core, cold enough to produce snow. I want to show you the latest maps as we take this storm and push it off towards the north and into the weekend. Still rain as it gets close to Greenland, but then here's the coast of Greenland. And as we go towards the weekend, this is Sunday morning. Look at all that. That is intense, heavy snow. Once the system gets into cold enough air where you get below that 32 degree mark, all this rain transitions over to snow. And we're talking about a lot of snow, too, along the coast. It's going to be rain over the ocean, snow over the land. But the snowfall totals with this are crazy. They're expecting a big time blizzard on the East Coast. A lot of folks getting over four feet of snow. There will be a couple people that try to get up close to five feet of snow. And then those snowfall totals start to wane a little bit towards the north and west. Some people have been calling this a, a snow cane, but it really is a hurricane going through a process of a warm core to a cold core, cold enough to produce snow. No impacts though on the United States. And just for fun, we're right getting into kind of early, mid-September. These are only locations that are getting snow right now. Greenland because of that, that snow cane, I guess you could call it, but that snowy transition. The rest of the North American continent, not much snow. Maybe a little bit for Alaska but nothing here in the lower 48.